In this video, we take you as far south as you can go in the U.S. to beautiful Key West, Florida. We show you where to stay and what to do in this tropical town built on fun, fine food, and knock your socks off sunsets. Highway 1, also known as the Overseas Highway, going from Miami to the Florida Keys, about 150 miles, and beautiful it is. RVers, this has to be one of the most in-demand camping areas anywhere in the U.S. Some of the sights here at Boyd are absolutely spectacular. Like this camper van. Does this view get any better than this? This is our campsite at Boyd's. It's a little tight, but it's home. Home indeed. That's not a bad site, is it? It looks like this site has a lot of room because this site is empty. <laughs> There's not a lot of room there. Boyd has a great pavilion area. They have yoga classes here and wine tastings, talent shows. It's just a great gathering place. Boyd's Campground has been around since the 50s. It's extremely popular, despite the fact that the spots are very narrow. Uh, that's the way they were in the 50s. And the people who stay here come year after year. Now, you can get a spot for a week or two, but you gotta call way, way in advance to get them, and the staff will work with you and maybe get you in one site for a couple of nights and then move to another. But to get here for a season, like most of the folks here on this stretch are, you have to book a year in advance. These folks, they're here for four months at a time, and many of them have been coming here for year after year. But as nice as Boyd's may be, this is where we have a lot of exploring to do. Key West, the southernmost town in the United States. Downtown Key West is about five miles down US-1 from the campground to the very end of the road. There's not a lot of room to park an RV downtown, so we rented a golf cart to head downtown for some sightseeing. Okay, this has been an adventure, renting a golf cart. If I had it to do over, I would rent a car because you can't take an RV into Key West. So the first day, the three of us sat in the front seat and we gave many photo ops to everybody out there as the three of us sat in the front seat. Well, this morning, Bo sat in the front seat, I sat in the back. And right now, you can see Bo and I are going to take the back and hopefully this is going to work. Bo does not like bumps, so uh, at least I'm here to, keep, to comfort him. Before tourism, one of the major occupations here in Key West was called shipwrecking. And I gotta understand that just offshore is a reef, one of the largest, the third largest, longest reef in the world. And um, almost every other week there would be a shipwreck out there. And under the rules, the maritime rules at the time, uh, whatever cargo was lost in that shipwreck was fair game if you could restore it and if you could claim it yourself. So shipwrecking became this occupation. Key West folks would go out in boats like this. Uh, this is called Mary, this one. It's a restoration. It's kind of falling apart, but a lot of original stuff. And they would go out there. They'd rescue the crew and uh, get them to safety. But then the spoils of that wreck were theirs. And there were so many spoils, in fact, that Key West became the richest city in America for a number of years because they they got so much of the booty that was wrecked on that reef. Key West, long before Jimmy Buffett made it famous. You can see a tower. They had towers stationed all around the island. Whenever there was a shipwreck, 
someone up on that tower would yell out so everybody would know to get out there, rescue the people, and rescue whatever was on that ship. And then later, all the spoils would be divided amongst all the people of the island. This iconic buoy is one of the most photographed places in Key West. Cuba, 90 miles away, but what you don't see in those photos is how long the line is to get your picture taken. What you do in Key West is eat out. We're at an outside restaurant, which is absolutely perfect, nice and cool. It doesn't rain much here, so good weather, eat out. And the place that we picked is called the First Flight uh, Cafe, and it is originally the headquarters where Pan Am Airways was started. Uh, its claim to fame now is it is the southernmost microbrewery in the U.S. Cheers. You can expect to pay for just about everything you want to do in Key West. The Hemingway home, 15 bucks to get in. Any of the museums, they all have pretty stiff admission fees. Uh, Key West is not a cheap town for the tourists. Even if you RV your way, you're going to spend a fortune in an RV camp. Uh, many of them are uh, 100 plus bucks a night. Uh, budget a lot of money if you're going to come to Key West. and every night at sunset a party spontaneously happens. Many people gather together to watch the sun go down. And we uh, thought that video will help you get excited about uh, scheduling a visit to Key West. We can help some more because we have a book, a seven day adventure guide to the Florida Keys and Key West. It's one of uh, a whole series, a, a virtual library of seven day adventure travel guides for different regions of the country that Jennifer and I have done. Uh, but go to rvlifestyle.com slash books and you can uh, check out these really neat little guides that'll help you figure out where to go, what to see, where to stay, even a route that you should take so you don't miss a thing. Hey, we had a great time in Key West. We hope to see you out there on the road. Happy trails!